All right, so here we're on the bench, or almost on the bench here with Emma Dart and Mike Pena. So a couple of questions, we're just going around some people in the Canterbury basketball community to get to know a little bit more about you guys. So first of all, both of you have been playing basketball for a long time, you've been pretty close here in Highbury. Where did you first start basketball and you know, what got you into those sorts of the story of your genesis in basketball? Well, it's kind of close. I started in Europe. Okay, sorry, uh, close to call. I don't know why Caleb keeps saying he's telling everyone to start with, but I started in Europe. Um, but yeah, I started just uh, family sport and um, friends uh, pushed me into it, and one thing led to another, and I uh, picked it up and got a scholarship up to Nelson. Yep. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I started playing in North Sydney. I've got three old brothers, so uh, they all play in North Sydney. Are you the best of all the all the siblings now? I know you're probably the tough one. Oh, wow. Happy watches this, but <laughs> anyway, are you? Uh, yeah, definitely the best. Yes, the best looking of the one. Okay, perfect. Uh, they're true for you as well. I say definitely the best looking one. Right, both of you um, did go to, as you mentioned, went over to USA as well on NCAA Division One scholarship. So, what was sort of the biggest difference? Not necessarily in terms of basketball, but just the sort of culture shock and stuff coming from Australia and New Zealand over to USA. Uh, the biggest difference between two. Or just yeah, just something that really stood out. I just think the the facilities and everything like given to us. I like, guess. I feel like it's world class. You've got strength training, you've got nutritionists, you've got coaches, you've got a gym you can use whenever you want. So I think it's one of those things where your parents like, oh, you have like, so much practice and uh, practice in school. It's like, oh, I don't want to be here. The minute leave, it's like, don't look after really well. Yeah. There's nothing like it again. What about you? Yeah, I was pretty lucky. I had quite a lot of Australians and Kiwis yes, in my yeah. school. Um, so, it wasn't too much of a cultural shock for me, but right. again, we've got mindset like uh, just how seriously they take on yeah. college basketball and how massive it is. Um, it was a bit of a shock. Um, yeah, the one time we made the NCAA tournament yeah. was when I really started to realize just how many people are into the sport, yeah. betting on the sport, and not sure. So, yeah, no, definitely. You probably went to a nicer place, St. Mary's. Wow, state. Okay. So, but no, well, we went to Indiana, no Scott Woods from there, so um, I feel pretty confident saying that one's a nicer environment than the other, um, just in terms of the countryside and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. All right, so anywhere in the world, craziest thing that you've ever had a coach do or a teammate do in a game? Well, not necessarily a game, but like a practice or a game or something. Like that. Quite crazy. Well, it's up to you to define it. So, out of the ordinary. You go first. Um. I've had some pretty good uh, half time sort of, I wouldn't say meltdown, but <laughs> panic speeches. Um, I've had a coach roll around on the ground before imitating right. some of the players. <laughs> did, just, did they have the desire to fear? Um, no, no, I still ended up losing by a lot, and a lot of players were just sort of playing their smiles. Right. It was pretty hard not to laugh, even though he was very serious. Yes, yeah. Um, yeah, that was probably the point. Right. That was a good answer. I think, for me, I think it's, just, it's definitely the half times or during the games where someone does something stupid or you come out like something bad's happened at the end of the first half and the coach is losing and stuff. Like, it's the behind the scenes stuff that you can't really go into, but it's just it's their job, so they're passionate about it and it's, Something just happened. Right. Sure. Alright, Graham, so the current squad, including you guys, who's the best trash talker in the team? Oh, Alex Talma. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> got, any, got any examples? Um, I think it was one of his first or second days here. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we were just getting to know him, kind of all set him up, and we were saying, Should I have a tie on? And we sort of cut him off. Yeah. You know, not such a good defense, but it's not anything to brag about. Yeah. And now I was talking smack to Zay right. <laughs> just off that. So uh, yeah he means business. Right. Yeah. I definitely think that's the point as well. That day's gonna stick with me. I mean we don't uh, some days we're being 
definitely he's the one I'd rather this one. Okay, outside of basketball, who's the most competitive in the squad? So you can include coaches if you want to. This is assuming you guys do something competitive outside of basketball. Let's speak with him and start. Um, I would... Yeah, I would... Yeah, mix one of them. I definitely think... Zay's one of the top ones. Yeah. He, we play a lot of Uno. Okay. It's pretty easy. Yeah. Um, Are there different rule variations? In yeah, well, we've got our set rules, and sometimes we add a few extra ones. Right. And, uh, spicy it up a little bit. But it's decided before. Yeah, there's, the a, there's a team, team setting rule. Okay. All right. Uh, weirdest request from a fan that you guys have been here anywhere in, in the world of Australia, New Zealand, or Europe, or as well? Um, just recently we went to Aussie and we yep. got our, our band to go to the game before the games even started. Yep. Pretty cold with Aussie. And from their team it was like, oh, you guys from New Zealand? And they're like, yeah, we're playing in New Zealand. Go, can I have your hoodie? And they're walking in and they're like, nah, I can't leave this game. <laughs> um, it's like, oh, after the game now. <laughs> I probably can't give you that one. <laughs> Not quite the level of um, equipment that you get in the States. Yeah. 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 I'd say for me it's just people wanting, they don't have anything to sign. It's like, can you sign my body? Yeah. So, uh, I don't know if your family would really appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, who's, who's got in trouble the most from Mick so far this year? On our system, I would have to say, there's no one, no one's in trouble. But in our system of who doesn't follow the rules. Right. So this is team wide, not the swim with me. Team wide, I would. Who's been the most? I don't know. I think you might be up there. I haven't got any yet. Oh, that's shit. <laughs> yeah, you're just a troublemaker. I'm doing a slide under the radar. I just like to push buttons. <laughs> So yes, it is mine. Yeah, right, so it's mine. Okay. Yeah. Alright, we can't finish off without asking this, this question. So, quite a thick growth yes. top of your arm. Um, I've got a theory myself, but you and Cam Blitton obviously some guys yeah. like to try to emulate you, but nowhere near. But what's the catalyst for the, for the start? Facial hair growth. What do you think the theory is? No, no, I'll, I'll, no, I'll, no, because then you'll say you're next, right? I'm so, curious. No, I'll, 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 I promise I'll, I'll share it afterwards. <laughs> okay. um, I don't know, it's just something. I mean, when we, it was probably more like Tay's idea, just Tay being growing, and him and Fletch and Jack, um, so like, oh yeah, grow it out. Yeah. So, oh, all right. Um, so the ones that you can't see it on, right? Give it a whack. Yeah, well, I mean, I hate to admit it, it's a pretty bad confession, but this is not completely natural. Oh. <laughs> so, I actually grow in like blonde hair. So, yep. Yeah, so uh, shout out to Just for Men. <laughs> Right. Yeah. Um, and luckily Cam got on board with me, yes. so, so I didn't feel like, like, like yeah. an outcast. Um, yeah. Well, this is hopefully, neutral. Hopefully this isn't going out to me. <laughs> but, uh, not many people will watch this, I'm sure. All right. No, his is died. His is died, right. Yeah. He might not watch it. All right, my theory was that uh, other commentators, I've been perfect so far, so it's been uh, yeah. making sure that we correctly call you in uh, Taylor Burr, Taylor Burr, but yeah. noticed yeah. a few that have fucked it up. We just yeah. thought there would be another differentiation between That's the two to make it easier. But um, I've noticed he's trying to grow up, and obviously he's not used to Justin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no, so, yeah. I'll get him on. Yeah, yeah, good idea. Well, after he sees this, maybe suddenly show up tomorrow. Right? Yeah. So, thank you very much for the time, guys. Hopefully, yeah. you all enjoy this. And, We'll be there watching the game tomorrow night. Thank you.